All right, guys. So here's a continuation of the first video. Um, we have already configured the VLANs on the switch, and we've given the VLAN interfaces, IP addresses. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is to work on the router that is going to be doing the inter VLAN routing. Um, the good thing about using uh, router on a stick configuration is that you're using a single interface and you're using that interface and breaking that interface down into how many VLANs that you need and assigning those sub interfaces IP addresses the points to or match the VLANs that they're in so for example we're gonna take uh, the sub interface fastest in zero 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 ten and assign uh, and let it do routing for for VLAN 10 so it, it's gonna act as if uh, this interface is directly connected to VLAN 10 and that that interface VLAN uh, fastest to 0020 is directly connected to VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 uh, is gonna act like it's directly connected to this interface and all these all these interfaces are just configured from one physical interface so that is the good thing if you're using router on a stick instead of having three separate interfaces that are, are connected physically to each VLAN that you have just imagine if you have 20 VLANs and you wanted to use a router to route then you're gonna need 20 fast Ethernet interfaces with router on a stick configuration all you need is just one interface and then you break it down into sub interfaces to how many ever interfaces you need um, of course the bad thing though is that all your load is going to be going to one interface so that's just the downside of, of using a, a, a router on a stick with just one interface but uh, the only thing to remember is that router on a stick configuration uses just one interface and it's broken down into sub interfaces for your use so the first thing we're going to do is create the sub interfaces on this router and assign them IP addresses so um, we're going to go ahead and do that okay so we want to configure interface fast Ethernet zero zero and to create a sub interface all you got to do is put a dot and then the interface number or whatever number that you want um, I'm gonna correlate it with a VLAN that it's on so um, for VLAN 10 I'm gonna use the number 10 so that I know that that is pointing to VLAN 10 so once I do that um, the other thing that we need to remember is that um, uh, it has to be uh, a trunk because because whenever a computer over here within any VLAN wants to communicate they're gonna send the traffic over here um, if it's any any type of link the traffic can go through so we're gonna use a trunk because you wanna carry multiple VLANs over one single line and that is what a trunk is for so we gotta make sure that it's a trunk and I'll show you how to do that in a second so we have um let me make this to where you can see forgive me okay so we have created having a little technical difficulty here with my computer okay so we have created that fast uh fast ethernet sub interface and watch what happens when i give it an ip address say I was intending to give it the IP address of of 10.1.1.100 and 255.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
okay and there it will easily take it so the next thing we need to do here is to configure uh, the sub interface fast thinner 00, 00 slash uh, dot 20 to be in the VLAN 20 network okay so enable conf t um, we're going to create a sub interface interface fast thinner 00, 00 and I'll create sub interface 20 of course it can be whatever but uh, whatever number you want but it's just easier if you match it with the VLANs that you, you're working with so 20 and you remember we gotta encapsulate it to be a trunk dot one q and I'll put a question mark here so you see what it wants it needs a VLAN ID and since I'm using since I'm using VLAN I'm, I'm wanting to be in VLAN 20 the VLAN ID that I'll use is 20 if this makes sense okay so 20 so now I can easily assign an IP address in the VLAN 20 subnet which will be 20.1.1.1.101 and 255.255.255.0 I have an extra one here okay so now this should work okay so I I just noticed a mistake that I did here let's see IP interface brief so you can see our sub interfaces that we've created out of of the fast internet zero zero interface so this I can f automatically see I wanted this to be 101 so I'll go ahead and change that and then we need to create uh, sub interface 30 okay so let's go ahead and do that it's 30 and cap with encapsulation is gonna be dot one Q and we want it in VLAN number 30 so 30 and then now I can give it an IP address in that VLAN so IP address is going to be in the 30 subnet 30.1.1.1 actually 101 then 255.255.0 255.0 and let's go ahead and change that for VLAN VLAN 10 I want this to be 101 .1 is the VLAN ID on the switch so we don't want that to happen so conf t Ten dot one dot one dot one oh one instead of one and then two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero. So now let's show IP sh sh IP int brief and then we can see that we have configured our interfaces the sub interfaces so I am gonna pause here and then we are going to continue in the other video on what else to do okay